this is John Moore, and this is Main Street with Constance. Happy holidays to all of you, and I am joined by Jean, Jean, Jean DeVille, yeah, and she is with the Southeast Tourism, Tennessee Tourism Association, I'll get it right. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. Good. Thanks for having so me. You bet. We're here to talk about tourism in the state of Tennessee, yes. and uh, how important it is for all of us, and what a big industry it is. I understand it's number two in the state. It is the second biggest industry in the state of Tennessee. Wow, well, very good. Well, tell us a little bit about what's going on with the tourism in the state. You, sure. You work through it through Sequatchie Valley, is that what you said? Well, yeah. I work for the, it's the Southeast Tennessee Tourism Association, right. which is actually part of the Department of um, Economic and, and Community Development at the, another long word, Southeast Tennessee Development District, which <laughs> okay. is based in Chattanooga. So I work with the 10 counties of this region surrounding Chattanooga. So Bledsoe County is one of our, the kind of the northernmost counties that we work with. All right. And we've been doing a lot of work on uh, branding the Sequatchie Valley and working with Marion, Sequatchie, and Bledsoe Counties. Everybody's working together to look at how do we promote the valley, um, which is such a beautiful place. It and is. Historic. So, yes. So we're very busy with that. Y'all are keeping me really busy. Okay. Uh, like yeah. I said, I'm based in Chattanooga, but I'm in Pikeville and Dunlap a lot and Jasper and South Pittsburgh. So. I know in another segment we talked about geocaching a little bit, but tell us some of the other things that are going on. There's. Uh... So in this last year, one of our exciting new developments in the Valley is that we um, developed a road cycling program, um, which basically identifies safe road cycling routes in the valley okay. and other areas of the region. Actually, I think we'll expand it. It'll, it'll probably be um, in Georgia, Alabama, and Tennessee, oh, and wow. beyond Southeast Tennessee in the future. But it's called Bikeways of the Scenic South. And we worked with a gentleman from Vela View Bike Tours out of Chattanooga to help develop these routes for folks that like to ride their bikes on roads, which there's a ton of people that love to do that. And I've gotten sucked into it and bought a ex fairly expensive bike in the last two years. Oh, very nice. And one of my favorite places to ride is between Dunlap and Pikeville. Okay. So. All right. And I know that in some of the roads in, in this area, we have the ditches, and it's not exactly easy to ride bicycles, but it's, it's, it's nice to hear that there are places that you can go to ride because, like you said, it's such a beautiful area, and getting out and doing uh, things like that and exercising is a good thing. So yeah. we, uh, we look forward to that expanding in, uh, in, the, in the whole area, the whole region. But uh, uh, <coughs> Yes, yeah, we have a question in the audience. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Now, I've heard that Chattanooga has... Uh, 10 favorite sites for motorcycles and the cyclists and one of those happens to be Lower East Valley. I've heard that it's in the top 10. So do we have any other sites, roads possibly like that as something that we could, you know, talk about more? Well, personally, I think that Old State Highway 28 mm -hmm. is a wonderful road. Um, it's, it's low speed low traffic yep. for the most part. Um, there are sections of it, particularly in Bledsoe County, that the pavement could be improved for cycling. But what's great about it is it runs essentially the entire valley. It does. So if you wanted a place where someone on a bike, and I, even someone with children in tow, I mm -hmm. feel like you could probably be on that road for parts of it. Um, but definitely as a connector between Dunlap and Pikeville. So I think there's a lot of potential for that route. Yeah, I think I would recommend uh, uh, definitely a mountain bike. Like you said, the roads yeah. are a little rough in mm -hmm. some places. Mm -hmm. We do have state parks on that road, and the, the, the view is beautiful. Yeah. And it, it's challenging in some places, but uh, it, it would be a great thing. And I yeah. know that, that uh, the state park system is also developing more trails to connect from uh, further north all the way through the state. So. That coupled with the bikes and the, and the uh, and the growing tourism that we have is, is going to be awesome for Bledsoe County and surrounding areas. Yeah, people are coming to Tennessee for sure. So they are coming. I think what we need to under, figure out is how do we plan for them? Mm -hmm. and what do we want visitors who are coming here to do and help guide that process? And, and also just kind of manage it in a way that protects the authenticity of this area and Pikeville and conserves the beauty of this area. So okay. I think we have a, a lot of good folks who are working on that. Mm -hmm. um, well, to that end, if folks want to look at uh, things on the internet about tourism in the state of Tennessee, 
do you have a website that, that they could look we up? We do, yes. Yeah. So we have southeasttennessee.com is our regional website. And then for the state level, you can look at tnvacation.com, and they have a beautiful website. Okay. So, Very yeah. Good. And we're developing a website for the Sequatchie Valley, which will be uh, visit sequatchievalley.com, and that should be up and running this winter at some point. Well, Jenny Veal, it's been a pleasure to have you on the show with Thanks us. For we thank you for me. coming here and talking to us about the importance of tourism. Oh, there is one more question in the audience. Now, thinking about Bloodsville County and throughout the entire state, I've seen things where only in Tennessee can you find this cave or this house. Does Bloodsville County have something that no one else has in the state? I know that you do. Um, I mean, the Sequatchie River is so beautiful and unique to the valley as a whole, and the fact that the head of the Sequatchie yes. is just a little bit over the Bledsoe County line. Um, but I think that that's very unique and the cave systems mm -hmm. associated with that and the archaeology. Um, so I think, and I think the history here, don't you think? I'm amazed at the history of Tennessee mm -hmm. all the time. No matter where you go, from Memphis to, uh, Knoxville. to Knoxville and beyond, is, is, is astounding. We have Civil War history, we have even modern history that... Uh, that is, is uh, very interesting for people to explore and, and learn more about. So, uh, yeah, Tennessee I think the is, history yeah. here is especially, I mean, and downtown Pikeville is just so quaint and beautiful. So it'll be fun to see that develop and grow. Yeah. Well, thank you again for coming. Thank you. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> it was that good. Hey, everybody. Stay tuned right here for more information for Ain Street with Constance. Brought to you by Bledsoe Telephone Cooperative, your full-service telecommunications provider right here in the Sequatchie Valley.